Good morning and welcome back. We are joined now with Rodney Welch, who is the first black alderman in West Monroe District 3. I guess the first in West Monroe. That's so exciting. Um, tell us first a little bit about how does it feel to have this role in this community? Uh, this is an humbling experience for me. First of all, that the voters in West Monroe in District 3 chose me to represent them. Also, um, I think about growing up um, people that mentored me and that I watched in the community uh, fight for voter protection, voter rights, and voter engagement. And uh, seeing their dream actually come to fruition, uh, it means a lot to me. And also, I'm a member of Alpha Alpha Fraternity Incorporated, in which we advocate in the community for voter rights and uh, voter protection and voter engagement. And so, me being elected, it shows that our mission and our our aims are actually going forth. And so it's very humbling for me, but I'm definitely excited about the things that are going to come as we, uh, you know, as I get the opportunity to represent District 3. And you just kind of mentioned it about kind of growing up and everything. How does your role help that younger generation? I mean, they're the generation that's going to come after you and after me. What is that like for you to kind of be in this role for them? Uh, it means a lot because I mentor kids on a regular basis and the fact that I get to show them that, first of all, history was actually made, and then secondly, show them that you know anything that they could accomplish that they put their mind to, they could actually do it. Uh, those things alone definitely means a whole lot. And now take us back to election night, March 26th. What was going through your head throughout the night, and then of course when you found out that you were the new alderman of West Monroe District 3? Uh, throughout the entire day, um, you know, I had people working um, you know, in the community, also with my campaign headquarters, all of that stuff, getting all of that together. And so my mind was racing. I didn't have time to actually think about it's really election day and it's about to, you know, it's, it's finally here. And so, you know, with people calling me all day long, asking me what can I do, what do we need to do, those things like that, it just, it, it wasn't, you know, I didn't have time to actually really think about it. And so, on election night, uh, when the final results came in, um, I was excited. Wasn't surprised because I had put in a lot of work since mm -hmm. January the 1st uh, on my campaign and doing early voting to try to get people out to vote early. And, and I kept watching the numbers as to who voted and who didn't vote mm -hmm. the, the voter list. And so I was definitely confident about, um, you know, possibly being elected. But also, you know, thinking back, um, this is not the first time that I ran for office, and mm -hmm. so when I ran this time, before, when I ran last time, um, it was given to me and it was shown to me that you know I wasn't going to win that prior election, but everything that I needed going forth to win the next election that I ran for, it was going to be given to me, and and all of those promises actually came mm -hmm. into fruition, and so wow. I'm actually uh, definitely excited. Like I said, humbled about the experience that's about to come. That is really cool. Now, last thing here before we go this morning, tell us a little bit about what you want to do in District 3. Uh, my campaign platform, it, it focused on what I call the ATB concept. And so uh, the H stood for home, home ownership. Um, in District 3, a lot of the, the, the citizens of District 3, they rent. And so they, a lot of them don't take a vested interest in that actual community that they live in. And so in order to um, bring in homeowners, um, that's going to increase the value of uh, the home ownership in District 3, the, the quality of living mm -hmm. in District 3, and uh, hopefully it also help reduce crime in District 3. Also, uh, the E stands for economic development. Um, we have a lot going on within District 3, especially with the downtown uh, development, um, but we still need to focus on you know some of the infrastructure with our roads, also with the flooding that we have in District 3. Uh, but you know, we're working, the, the, they are currently working on some of the, uh, pro those projects right now, but definitely the, there are some other additional things that need to be addressed. And then uh, lastly, the uh, um, B stands for business relationships. A lot of the capital outlay projects that the city are working on, um, we need to have those business relationships on a local uh, with pa uh, parish officials as well as state officials to make sure that we could uh, petition for those additional funds in District 3. So we have to have those business relationships established. Very cool. I'm excited to see how it kind of plays out as it goes on. Thank you so much for being with us yes. this morning and congratulations. Hey, thank you so much and I look forward to uh, actually serving the citizens of District 3 and also representing the city of West Monroe. Thank